Hello, everybody. Welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? I want to thank everybody so much for all your great, amazing, amazing comments and support over here on this channel. So we're going to jump right into a mega detailed soulmate read and anything that comes in. It can be ages. It can be zodiac. Most importantly, things like personality traits, when you'll meet, things of that nature. The lighting and the temperature are so nice outside, but I was like, you watch. It's It was like unearthly quiet moments ago and all you could hear was hundreds of birds and then the moment I turned on the camera a jet flew over somebody started a buzz saw all this stuff started to happen so if we hear outside noises case Sarah because it's just unbelievably heavenly lighting right now so I'm really excited mm -hmm. so I decorated the set with some pretty just leaves and carnelians because I feel like carnelians are right up there when it comes to just the courage and courageousness to say yes to everything for every opportunity to go out and to tackle life's little difficulties as well as our own insecurities and little things like that and to just go out forge forward and meet the people of our dreams and be strong in who we are and not doubt ourselves or our worthiness or value in love um let's you know find out some of the elements of our soulmates that's coming in you know because it's so profound it's a lingering emotion which no words can encompass it is just that click it's a it's a feeling it's just an amazing electric attraction when soulmates meet they feel an instant strong emotional reaction to one another they sh so often share similar backgrounds as well family dynamics crazy amazing things in common um, they have the same values and life goals, though personalities may differ. Soulmates are, have common morals about things like child rearing, global issues, things of that nature, nature, and oftentimes meet in an unusual way. Soulmates often are brought together in unique ways, like over a fender bender or um, like I've heard a lot of things of people in emergency rooms or waiting in hospitals, things of that nature where people have time to talk. So let's find out what is going on with yours and we'll choose our three choices right here. Number one is when I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. Number two is when I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. And number three is when I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe. I attune my energy with an ever-present stream of well-being. So I'm going to let you make your choice. And then we're going to begin. I'm going to shuffle my main, one of my favorite decks. And I feel, well, I'm going to start too with initials of your soulmate. So while you're making your choice, I'm going to shuffle this deck and use a certain deck for that. And again, thank you, Trey, for these super attractors. People have been asking on um, Instagram what they are. Absolutely amazing, feel good. Super attractors by Gabriel Bernstein. Just wonderful, wonderful, like uplifting cards. Okay, so we got that shuffled in this. So we're going to begin with number one. And I'm going to pull three cards for the initials as well. Number one is M, F, and S. And it can be in any order or one or two initials can also be yours. Again, this is for a collective, so it may differ. But I'm going to tuck right into the tarot so we can get some of our information. It's so funny. I have my camera hand. Yes, where I just did my manicure. And then I have my artist and jeweler's hand where it is all chipped and looking cray cray but that's that's the deal so i'm gonna flip these oh yes great perspective okay so let's begin with what's in their chart because right away wands i feel they there is a lot of fire in their charts you know aries sagittarius leo these are go-getters these are people you know that they're on the top of their game they have um, um fire and drive and they've cultivated a life of adventure and fun and joy it's like everything is not so you know i need to check off that list i need to do this i need to feel like um i I'm in the matrix kind of thinking, you know, this is outside the box. This is true, true zest for life like this person. Their values, I definitely feel, are aligned, you know, with higher purposes and helping other people and advancing, you know. They are mentors. They're motivated for the right reasons. And there are a lot of these soulmate connections. Um, 
they are positioning themselves for huge and like mobilizing for huge wins in life. They have directed and educated themselves in such a way that they know that they do make a difference when they try and they value who they are. And so they're about to chair something huge in life and integrate it into a, like a kind of like a world stage, you know, whatever they're doing is going to activate something that's going to really have a remarkable resonance with a lot of people. I definitely feel that. Now I'm loving this pentacles is definitely about how they're going to influence you in terms of grounding you. I'm just seeing pentacles and grounding. That's the whole nature I'm pulling from this. They're very grounding for you and they're going to help you center. They're going to boost your morale and your creativity and help you um, feel like you have a safe place to operate from. They've achieved things and through watching them and kind of honing in on that energy, you're able to align with that energy as well. And, you know, advocate for yourself, speak up for yourself, um, form a really positive opinion of who you are and where you're going, right? That great inner dialogue. Now the wheel, I love this because this is perspective and also a time frame. This 10 means they're coming in in under 10 months. I definitely feel that's your timeline and I want to pull um, oh yeah, see, I feel like there's a lot of Sagittarius in, in their, like in, in a big grouping of this. Cause I see adventure. I see humor. I see laughing, laughter, and I see a great perspective on life. And you're going to formulate that too. Like, why would I go to a negative place and headspace and doubt or any of that when I can go, of course I can do this. And you're going to operate differently and incorporate some of their fun, lighter values in. So you're able to, um, it's like you're going to be able to feel difficulties with little effort and then move on to what really matters and redirect yourself in, in joyous pursuits as opposed to feeling like, oh, I have to do this. Again, it's one of those things where um, you're just going to make these little life edits where they're helpful and you're going to be able to just keep it going. So let's see what one of their messages are for you too. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing yeah that's so beautiful i love that look at this and then for your closing card on how you will get on like an inter and intrapersonal relationships with family beautiful your both of your families are going to see how and friends are going to see how much you help one another love each other and that everything is authentic and really grounded and pure in the right direction so they in turn are going to be helpful in generating good you know good energy for this person and welcome them and knowing too that you know that it is is your soulmate so when you say that nobody's gonna balk or second guess or think it's out there it's like hey I'm amending my decision on what is true 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 love when they see you two together and it's I see a lot of great travel as well for you guys I mean this person I, I definitely see some bilingual trilingual um, tendency speaking different language being really well traveled as well and they're gonna kind of like influence you and want to see some of the beautiful um, places they visit in the world south america africa all these places and you're going to build this solid solid trusting beautiful life together and again i keep seeing two so i feel like they may be two years older than you and the best and most promising thing i feel that's coming in with this too is you guys are able to advise each other where you know you kind of have those chinks in your armor where there's any doubt or fear and whatever and just bolster each other up and resolve to just push forward to goals to um to amend friendships or maybe fractured relationships within families too and be really helpful in that regard which i love yeah and definitely under 10 months it's coming in really really quickly and i feel like you at that point you're going to have gathered all your strongest resolve you know for you know self-confidence and for direction and feeling good about yourself and where you're going group one so i love that energy for you beautiful if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read or anything else all my links are there and come see my other smaller channel where i do my daily pops of positivity that is um spark wrist inspirations and thank you guys that came over immediately so let's see initials again m f and s beautiful i love that so much but i feel like you know it's just really important that in order to manifest and use a law of attraction in this we just 
just completely remove ourselves from doubt, worries, fear, and lack mentality. And we just kind of stride forward in the beauty that is this connection that's waiting for us. Absolutely. So that is you guys. Again, links all down below for private reads and everything else. My Etsy store, if, if you ever see anything on any of my um, videos that you like, and it's not in the store, just ask. And that's why I like um, people to come over and follow on Instagram because I can DM and send pictures back and forth and communicate. Because for Christmas, I'm making a lot of people specialized stuff, monogram stuff, um, pieces that are similar, but have different color stones, things of that nature. So now we're going to go on to number two, you guys, when I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. And this is what I feel is majorly, majorly going to be taking place for you in terms of your soulmate is just amazing spiritual connection. It's energetic. It's really powerful. And it's going to persuade you with that rock solid. This is them. This is exactly, you know, your person. And don't doubt it. Don't fear it. Just, you know, just run with it and have that, you know, glorious, beautiful, charmed luck that's following you because that's what I feel is taking place. Let's get some initials. We have B, C, and D. So D, C, B, B, C, D. One or more can be theirs or yours. Again, this is for a collective, so that's why I'm using three of these as well. Let's see what's going on with this. I want to get some of these. All right, I already shuffled this. Let's take three from right off the top and get some messages for that. I'm at this kind of awkward angle. Ooh. Well, some of you guys, it's as soon as four months. That's a placement of time. Star, there's your wish card. You're ready. You've manifested this. And there's your king of wands. This individual, again, funnily enough, now I'm, I'm feeling a combination in their chart to right off the bat. As soon as I put them down, I saw a big wave and then I saw it hitting a rock with a pentacle sign on it. So I feel there's earth and water heavily in their charts. I feel like Capricorn definitely for a, for a great many, but there's a lot of water in their chart as well. I see a lot of dreaminess and creativity and curiosity about life. That beautiful childlike curiosity where everything feels abundant and fun and cheerful that beautiful energy. And this King of Wands is part and parcel of their personality. Really, really a, a heavy hitter when it comes to an impassioned life, the way they exist in the world. You know, they have built and incorporated some of the best spiritual aspects into their life that says, you know what, I can't have do be say anything that I want because what everybody else is doing is kind of they're plugged into their own systems. There, it can be very matrix ridden, you know, materialism, how they appear to others. And they just simply don't care about that. They know through just really centered thinking and thought and clarification on what's important in life that it is, you know, kindness, generosity, love, honesty like this person is sincerely sincerely honest you're never going to be wondering or developing suspicion about them because tried and true and part of it is because that's what you're invoking that's what you've been focused on what you do want in a partner not what you don't want that you want someone who's loving and trusting and authentic and honest in that kind of beautiful true north compass that's absolutely them that's why you're with this it's coming in so fast in this four months because it's something you are producing you are generating this energy and this connection and it's always out there and um, the cosmos is always advising us in little ways little turns and cues and clues and what to do to accelerate this process but if we get in a negative mindset or we get derailed that's when you know blockages come in, but you're not doing this. You're, you're now in this expansive thought process that is generating and igniting this connection faster than usual, which is really great. And I want to pull a couple cards. Oh, I'm loving this. Yes. And part of this, look at this beautiful, you're moving away from simply what doesn't work or fulfill you or sustain you or make you feel good. And again, another person, let's, let's, move forward with this first because this has improved everything you are making amendments and renovating your life right now you're deciding this person place or thing nope too heavy too discombobulated too misdirected whatever i don't need those certain things they are no longer priorities in my life it can be time wasting things you know just scrolling endlessly on um, instagram 
TV, whatever those are, most of it has to do with procrastination, self-doubt, and second-guessing yourself. There's no more like prevaricating. You're being, you're capitalizing on your time in a really beneficial way going, you know, I can make changes whenever I want. So why don't I just install some, you know, tiny bite-sized ones right now? Why don't I decide I'm going to go on 15-minute walks each day? Why don't I decide I'm going to sit outside? And like today, I made a kind of pact with myself that I'm going to go back to reading paper books in the evening and get off computers or laptops because what happens is I do start scrolling and I just start looking at things. I don't feel satisfied or I don't feel calm. And it's uh, something about screens late at night. It just doesn't do it for me. So it's either going to be nice audio books or paper books that I'm reading, all of that. And that's something that you're doing. And what you're doing is you're clearing a path for all these little cues and clues and amazing things to come in. And, and you're going to re-examine and make changes. I feel like you're going to really persevere in doing things that are good for you. And you're going to see yields from that. You're going to reduce anxiety. You're going to reduce fear. You're going to reduce wasting time and feel good. Because what happens as we're calling in our soulmates, we produce better vibrations and frequencies that go higher and higher and and that's letting go of all the dead wood and letting go of the lower vibration um that can be guilt fear jealousy all of those things that just don't work now i'm loving the fact that what they are going to do in terms of they're going to be very cohesive for your family and your friends they're going to get along famously with them because again both sides and vice versa are going to see this true deep meaningful connection and know that this is something to be prized and cared for and and contribute to it in a healthy way. So you're not going to get anybody that's second guessing you or giving you a hard time about this relationship. There'll be also no control issues, which I love in this. It's like everything is going to be so much reciprocity, like when you decorate your home together, how and when you want to do certain things, vacations. It's going to be such a beautiful centralized 50 50 effort in things that no one is like steering the ship you both are you're both at the helm which i love and you're and i feel like there's just going to be a passing of rich information um the good positive things that have happened during the day to enrich you know your day not the complaints not all of that just a really beautiful way you're going to design this amazing life together again it's like just this beautiful ebb and flow of caretaking and love and coordinating a gorgeous life together and I feel like you're going to pioneer some kind of interesting um, business together too it's kind of like some of you guys you just when you combine your creativity it's going to work really beautifully and you're going to motivate each other to do some sensational stuff you know spearhead certain campaigns and things that are very helpful and things that you've been waiting to do as well which is really nice so I love that energy for you and again in terms um, in terms I keep seeing threes over and over so I feel like three 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 is your special number and perhaps that's also the age spread as well but yeah, start, start your um, list of all the little things you want to take place because you have this gorgeous star energy, which is saying you absolutely have the power to create whatever you want right now. When it comes to career, love, money, all of those things, you are under like an auspicious kind of star right now where you're able to do some amazing things. So look forward to generating that magic and it's going to keep coming for you as well. So I love that for you, Groove 2. Beautiful energy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below. You need a private read, anything else, I get back to you within 48 hours. Come over on Insta. It's SparkQuest11 and join in and see what's going on for the weekly giveaways. I do daily posts and memes and all kinds of fun stuff. And I love to just connect people, ask like all spectrum of questions you know from crystals to dreams and everything and I always answer everything that I see over there if it you know if it's not just like totally off the wall stuff I'm gonna get right back to you as soon as I read it as well because I love that I love that as a format to communicate so that is you guys and thank you for my new patrons and everybody supporting the channel I'm very very I'm excited. So, and don't forget too, if you haven't gone over and if you're missing the daily pops of positivity, they're now over on Sparkrist Inspirations. I started a second channel so I could just have that be like the formula channel where every day you get your daily pops of positivity. Okay, you guys. So now we're on to number three. When I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with the ever-present stream of well-being. 
Absolutely. When we realize that, you know, we are always divinely guided and prodded in the right directions, we're always helped, advised, fielded, informed to do things. But we have to be in present moment awareness to see all those things. Like right now, I'm noticing like my attention every once in a while is drawn to certain things in the yard during the reading. I'll look up and Moonbeams is sitting over behind the fence, just looking straight at me. A squirrel like props up on the fences is looking right at me. All those little things. You're going to have that numerically. I feel like three Again, three, three, threes was for the last one. 11, 11s is going to be popping up. Feathers, um, eagles, birds of prey, that is going to be very symbolic in your journey as well. Let's get some initials. We have D, L, and N. And it can be in any order. One or two or more can be yours. Um, N, L, D, D, L, N. It's funny how often, oh, and you also have your sacred union, honor and treasure relationship for it is truly sacred. This just reminds us not to doubt and not to like second guess the process. So many people, anything, what happens when something remarkable comes in our life? If it's a gift, just say somebody gives you a beautiful prized possession. One of the first things that comes in, unfortunately, is fear. Fear of losing that object. Fear of losing that feeling. Fear of losing whatever. We have to remove that and just be, let it enrich our life and focus on it. You know, just just really align with that energy and let it ignite in us what is sometimes just dormant and should that spirit is always trying to bring to us, which is faith and trust and hope that we are meant to have these things. And it's going to be consistently illustrated to you through little symbols and signs. An infinity symbol is definitely going to be one. You're going to see this image, and a lot of you guys are going to have very strong animal dreams, and that's going to be representative of your soulmate. It can be anything. It can be eagles, big cats. Um, things of that nature, but you'll you'll see them repetitively, and those are going to be symbolic. And there, you know, it's that's part of the initiation process too. So let's see what's going on. Six months. That's your time period. Beautiful. This is part of their personality aspects. Okay, cups. I definitely felt this too. Um, you guys, I feel like there is air and both air and water in their charts, but this is just going to be, when this person comes out of the blue, it is like an abrupt turnaround from what you're used to. This is just completely, you know, you feel it emotionally, you feel it energetically. They're completely honest and it is just this rush of euphoria and connectedness. That's it. It's very simple where you don't have to analyze it. You don't have to map, measure, explore, examine. It is just there and it's there for the both of you. That's the clarity of thought card too where you just feel elevated in thought and you're like you know you know when you know it's all of that you you know when it's right you know where um sometimes when you're in a market or a grocery store and you're feeling like depleted in some energy or vitamin and you just get the right thing and it hits a spot and it helps you oftentimes it can be things like iron vitamin c it's that sort of thing with that energy where whoom, all of a sudden that missing that missing puzzle piece just snaps into place and now you're able to kind of like pilot over the next couple months you know, really clear headed where whatever you produce is lovely and simplified. You're not overcomplicating. It's almost like a strange new territory because it's like, wow, why, why in the world would I, you know, say 10 words when I only need to say one? Why would I spend an hour thinking about this when it really only took two minutes? That it's like clarity is going to come uber clear because your frequency is going up. It's just this thing where you're going to know where things are like things are going to be introduced to you and you're going to conceive them in a different way where all of a sudden there's just clarity. Yes, I need this. No, I don't need this. That is so extra. That is distraction. I'm going to focus on this. Now it's finished. Just one, two, three, one, two, three, like you're in this dance and everything makes sense because we, as we elevate in our frequency and our vibration, there's clarity, there's trust in the process. There isn't second guessing. There's no fear. So you're just, everything is smoother. It's like redesigning how you experience things too from a greater perspective and you're able to like internally coach yourself to make smarter and wiser and simpler decisions, right? It's like one of those things where, and, and I've talked about this before, if you look at a huge, huge menu and you, no matter what you order, if you have a fear of missing out, you're not going to enjoy that specific meal because you're going to feel like the one that you missed out on is, you know, it's that in life instead of just being like, um, oh, or when you go to the beach, if um, you know, it's windy and you decide you're going to have a bad day because it's windy there. Or you're just like, wow, that's another element that enhances this day and keeps me cool. It's all perspective and you're going to have a really beautiful, healthy perspective. And you're going to feel these loving, um, 
you know, winds of change where you look at other people with more compassion, love, and you have fortitude to push through and things because you know it's only that. It's a simple moment to do something, a simple moment. So if things used to bother you, they no longer bother you. And it's like, it's a heaviness that's lifted. You're maximizing on all the potential, jumping right in there and navigating beautifully like you're able to obtain whatever you need with ease and ease of thought this energy really does that's what you you know when you hear that love makes the world go round it does in such a miraculous way it eases pain it um, helps us clarify what's most important really look at people too I feel like you're you're going to have this neat thing that's taking place where you're really making a connection with all kinds of people where it's real true eye to eye contact, you're sensing things about them, you're more empathetic, you are calmer, um, you're able to deflect negative or like that hypertense energy that some people carry when they're out in public, like you're able to deflect things that need deflecting and absorbing things that are helpful really, really beautifully. I love that. And I feel like you're also going to be in a huge romantic phase. This part of this is part and parcel for this where, you know, we're refocusing what's special and magic to us and this energy is doing that for you now I want to grab a couple personality cards because um, I definitely feel oh wow look at that swords yeah we have air we've definitely got some air coming in here for this sign you know very high thinking high-minded um, acute awareness of things with this individual and aces I love that because that's divine guidance so they are divinely guided and they pay attention to things things that matter so they are going to be aces that remembering your favorite colors your favorite flowers your favorite places whatever you mention and say is special to you it's going right in their archive and they're going to be able to just boom and you're like how would you remember that like we were whatever you could have a hundred things going on they're going to remember what's important to you because what's important to you is important to them now, how much do you love this, that you have both the king and queen of swords? This is just such uber compatibility and such a nice meshing of um, values, spirituality, ideas, and look at you both just kind of looking out into the world and making plans and deciding what's going on and how to do things. And I love this, how there's like a little dish of water down there and there's an owl over there. There's flowers, there's water. It's like birds, all of these symbols. I feel like that's going to be some of your symbols. Owls, bats, dark birds, for sure. And these are, you know, some of the things that are just little reminders. I'm on my way. We, we don't need to control and coordinate everything that the universe is conducting this gorgeous love orchestra for you. And the pieces will fall into place. And... It's one of those things where you're just going to train yourself. Let me simplify, um, you know, how I do things so I can have time for rest, relaxation, joy, and not push so hard. And I just feel like, yeah, you're going to abbreviate things that need abbreviating. And then you're going to be able to just kind of elongate the joy, the rest, the focus, and all of that. And just, you know, have this kind of standard of living where it's customized to suit you to have peace of mind because I feel like that's really what's coming in for you with all these swords is an easing of overthinking and over planning and all of that and just going in this energy is going to be really great for you and that's and when they're here as well that's definitely they are a supreme thinker I mean they're very um, they're an excellent communicator and the way they speak is very fluid and calming to you. Um, just one of those things that, that, you know, I feel like they're educated in a natural, beautiful way where they have lots of information about things, but it's not about, um, I know this and I know that. Oh my God, I just saw this squirrel ran over and a leaf landed on his head and it looked like a little yellow hat. I was like, I can't with today. It's so cute. If, if you really listen, you can hear all the birds in the background too. So again, everything that is coming in, you're going to be able to field beautifully. The, you know, it's like this terrain that you're surveying looks, looks much more lush and helpful and grounded and um, wonderful to you. And that's part of all this persuasion and energy that comes in with the soulmate connection, especially this soon, because we, um, we're looking at all the bright and beautiful things as opposed to 
um, any of the fearful things, which I love. So yeah, it's going to, you know, and everything is just going to exceed expectation to such a wonderful degree that you're just going to be blown away. So I love that energy for you, group three. If you're new to my channel, you guys welcome. My name is Melanie. Don't forget to press like and subscribe helps me out so much. And also the notification bell. So you'll know when all the new videos come in, all my links are down below for a private read. If you want all the little minutia and details, I get back to you within 48 hours with a video read, just like this, come over and see spark Chris inspiration on YouTube. That's where the daily pop of positivities are every day now as well and come over to insta it's spark it's spark quest 11 i do daily posts and memes and and if you ever have any questions and people dm me we talk about everything over there it's really really nice nice i'm still doing my weekly giveaways of jewelry goddess provisions and all the things of that nature as well so love and light you guys thanks again